While there are many ways to find a mentor, a good approach is for you to ask around about busy scientists who work with students, fellows, and junior faculty. Are the mentees happy? Are they productive? Do they like their mentor? If yes, I encourage you to set up a meeting and find out how you can help your potential mentor and how he or she can help you. Remember that there are many different types of mentees and mentors. Some people like to be told what to do next until they're confident enough to choose the next step on their own, while others want the freedom to make mistakes, which sounds great, but it also can be disruptive to others on the research team. It's a real balancing act, and it may take several different conversations and lab visits to find the mentor that seems like the best fit for you. Ultimately, you want to find someone who truly cares about your well-being and career success, and that you truly care about too. In my experience, successful mentor-mentee relationships are a two-way street. When it doesn't work, it's usually because the mentee demands too much from the mentor, or vice versa. One of the best predictors of whether somebody is going to be a good mentor is that they've been a great mentor in the past. So talking to students and postdocs and junior faculty who are mentored by someone is really one of the best ways to decide on a mentor. It's important to understand whether a mentor is uh, pays attention to everybody in the lab or really focuses most of the attention on a select few, and whether the members of the lab who have gone on to the next stage at the rate that they wanted to have acquired the positions that they wanted to acquire. A second important determinant of, of what mentor to choose is someone who does great science. The particular field that that person focuses on is probably actually not quite as important. Fields that are really hot or really uh, interesting at one moment may change a few years later when you're looking for an exposition, but uh, someone who does good, rigorous science, designs experiments well, um, and thinks through problems rigorously is essential for uh, research training. Finally, I think one of the most important skills to acquire in a laboratory is writing. So I would look closely at the writing of a mentor and talk to people about writing experiences with that mentor because Polishing the ability to write grants and papers is probably the, one of the most important foundational skills that can be acquired uh, in a laboratory from a mentor.